to Java tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we saw how we can do conditional checks in our program using if else constructs. Now in this video, we are going to talk about switch case. So instead of showing you this slide, I would right now want to directly go back to the example that we saw in our previous video and tell you how we can use a simple switch case to make our task easier of checking conditions. So as you see here in our program, we checked if age is greater than 90, do a certain set of steps, else if between 50 to 90, do this. And finally, else if it is less than 50, do this. Now, if this had more conditions to be checked, like if age is greater than 90, do this. If 80 to 90, do this. If 70 to 80, do this. Imagine how many else if statements you would have to write. So instead, in cases like this, when there are multiple checks, we prefer using switch case. So let me just get rid of this. Now, when you write a switch case, it's fairly simple. Just say switch. Now, this is a keyword again. And inside, you give the variable that you want to test in your cases. So here, in this case, it will be age. So say age inside and just give curly braces. Now this wall is your switch body. All your different cases will go now inside the switch body. So how we do that? Let's say case one or in our case, let's say if age is 90, we have to say happy birthday, you just turned 90. So we say case 90 and as you observed, this is not a semicolon. Whatever case we give with the variable value here, all the statements now will be executed till we finally hit break. So let's say congrats, you turn 90. All right. And now what we add here is a break. Now this again is a keyword which will prevent you from executing all your cases. So if you enter into case 90, if your age is 90, you enter, execute all those statements and then just exit out of the switch. Next, let's say give two, three more cases. Let me just copy this. We make the task easier. So let's say case. Okay. Now, as you can see, there is an error since I copied it. The two case values are similar, so you'll get an error. So make sure all your case values are different from each other. So case 80, congrats, you turned 80, then break again. Similarly, let's write a few more for 70, 60, and let's do one more for 50. All right. And finally, what you have to do is if either of the cases that you have mentioned does not execute, you finally write a default case. So if there's no match found, just go ahead and run the default case and then come out of the switch. So how do you do that? You just say default. Now this will mark your default condition. So, so let's say you're still young. All right, and break again. So this right here is now our complete switch case. Starting with switch, give your variable name here. Go ahead, write all your cases, different cases. Add break after every case. So here you can give multiple statements. In every case, you can give multiple statements. You can do whatever you want to do inside a case. If you want to do some arithmetic operations, you can do that logical, whatever, as per your program. So there's no limit to what you can do or what you cannot do inside this. Okay. So let's say here I added to system dot out. All right. Now let's just save it. Our age is 60. So we should print congrats. You turned 60. Save and run. So congrats. You turned 60. Now I also want to show you what will happen if you don't write break. Let's say after 60, we remove this break. Just comment it out. Okay, and do it for the same. Save and run. So as you see, if you don't give a break after the case, it will execute 
all the cases after till it reaches the break statement. So it's at 60, 50 and still pretty young finally till it actually encountered break. Also let me show you how the default condition will also work here. So if let's say this is 30 you are still pretty young. So since 30 did not fall in either of the cases that we have written it finally executed the default case. So fairly simple right instead of writing all the if else if else if else if switch case makes our task easier when there is one particular condition or variable to be checked and there are certain cases that we have to test like this. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you got to know how to write a switch case. Please feel free to drop any comments below if you have any doubts or if there are any questions that you want us to take up in this series. Thank you for watching guys and please do subscribe for our upcoming videos. Happy coding!